Hello everyone, James and 9532 here. Today, we're not covering an engine. We're covering rolling stock. Ooh. Now, we're not just doing a few pieces. Today, we're doing five pieces. Now, the reason I'm doing this instead of showing off one or a pair together one by one is because, really, most of them don't have a lot to say. To be honest, they don't, really. So, I decided to compile them all here. As they all had similarity, they all had... They were all towed by the standard gauge engines on Sodor. So, yeah. I think we're going to start with the coaches here. So, let me move these guys. And we will talk about Annie and Clarabelle. Now, these aren't the only coaches I've made. If you were listening closely, you heard I was make, I made five pieces. But here's the thing. Where you will get to the fifth or the third coach later. Annie and Clarabelle originally um, were a darker orange with a yellow stripe around them. They were like that way for a while because I, silly young me, decided to customize them. That was a mistake. But now, realizing any clear bells on their own are expensive, I decided, well, why don't we touch up the old ones? I did like the design of Annie using just the standard coach body being a little shorter than Clarabelle coming from the push along Thomas. Now, I based their faces off of most merchandising. They were, that's why Annie has the shocked face and Clarabelle has the weird smiling face. I think I did a pretty good job, if I may say so myself. They were both painted in the same shade of orange and were given a gold stripe around the middle, similar to my custom express coaches. I will explain this in a little bit. I used a brush and wrote their names on the side of them. Not in cursive, because cursive is impossible to do with a paintbrush. At least for me. Clarabelle. Clarabelle. Yeah. Clarabelle, they were both, both Annie and Clarabelle were given windows. Because they are push-pull coaches. If you don't know what that means. Well, let me explain this. Thomas here is a tank engine. He has six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. Now, when he's pulling the two coaches along, put the turntable so you guys have a better understanding. Now, when he pulls coaches, usually Annie and Clarabelle up and down his branch line, right? He doesn't, just because he's a tank engine, he doesn't have to run around to the back of the train. He could if he wanted to, but he doesn't have to. He can just push them back. That is why Clarabelle needs her rear windows. So her guard or driver even could watch from the back. Yes. Now, <laughs> sorry, that was terrible English. Um, Annie and Clarabelle, you'll notice I didn't block off any Clarabelle's windows or Annie's for that matter. I should have. Well, it blocked off these two back here, but not on the other side. So, I should have. But, that would come to conflict with the third coach. Which I will show you right after the brake vans. Let's get these two out of here. And bring in our brake vans here. Toad and the spiteful brake van. Now, let's talk about the spiteful brake van first, as... He was the one who underwent the most construction, and you may have the most questions about. Now, he's not the typical design, as his face is now facing the train instead of Douglas, like this, as he normally would be. But I decided to have it like this, so he would have some difference from Toad. Granted, their shapes are already majorly different, but... He was made out of a car, just a normal troublesome truck. That I had used for my second or third rendition of Railway Series Toby. This Toby has a um, self-made uh, scratch chassis. But 
one of the earlier versions of Toby did not. So, that car had plenty of hot glue and it was just a mess. So, I wrapped that in softer cardboard to sort of cover up the mess and all the wood planking. But, I figured it was okay. Then, I, was, I gave him the straws for poles on either end. I did not fill in the front. I regret doing that. I put this little chunk here and covered it with soft cardboard. Now, this guy was technically built before I got on, you know, made, began making good engines and good customs again. So he's not quite up to standard, but his paint job will suffice for that, I suppose, is the way to put it. He's painted in the same gray as Toad, but that's no big deal. I used a Sharpie to do his doors and um, open side. I did the opposite thing on, like, each side has, like, a closed door and then an open door. Same with this side. Yeah. I painted their buffer beans red because I wasn't sure what color they should have been. And I was too, z too lazy to pick up, look up an image. So, now their buffer beams are red. That's the Spiteful Berg fan. Oh, his face was done with paint pen and, um, paint pen and normal pen, sorry, and Sharpie for the eyebrows. I tried my best to give him that devious smile we see in the Railway series, but I also wrote NW on his sides for Northwestern. Yeah. Anyway, Toad. Toad is a very old custom as well. He was made out of a van that I used as an express coach as a child because it was green. Hey, I thought that was solid justification, but now I have like five, four coaches, five coaches that I use as express coaches. So now I don't need to use green vans. Yeah. Um, I didn't try to cover it up because I like the wood planking and the weird door. It helped... I know the door isn't technically accurate, but I I think it helps, like, show that he's more detailed. Um, his roof is not white or gray. It's the same gray as the rest of them. But I gave him, like, white lines along the top of his or along the sides of his roof. Even in the front. Yeah. You see it. Um, yeah. I cut off this massive chunk of van right here. You don't know how long that took? Um, and I glued this softer piece of cardboard over the top so it was curved, like Toad's roof. I also painted, um, the inside of the roof black. Yeah. And I did all the lining in white and gave him a red buffer beam with his coupling facing the train. His face is from the, when I first made him. And I'm like, well, I don't want to make a other face for him. Because this is like the most accurate face I can get. So I just figured, hey, well, why not stick with it? It sort of matches. It's paper. So, yeah. And as you can see, he looks good with Oliver. So, I figured, why not? But if you're a Railway Series purist, purist you can also see he looks good with Douglas. Yeah, he looks good, so I'm happy with him. Now, you heard me mention a fifth coach. Well, for that, I must bring back Annie and Clarabelle. They'll be sitting like this in the back. Deal with it. The fifth coach is an OC. Yes, shoot me, I don't care. It is... She is an OC. I figured make her female to sort of match with Annie and Clarabelle. Yeah, call me sexist. That's not what I'm not trying to do here. It's just I figured make her match with Annie and Clarabelle. Anyway, her whole thing is she is the missing coach. Yes, she has been found and a custom is made of her. Now, you might be saying, um, dude, your missing coach is not accurate. To either the TV series or the railway series rendition of The Missing Coach. And let me tell you something. I know. I am fully aware that this is so inaccurate. But 
I don't care because I like it. My express coaches, some of you will know, are orange. Yeah, I showed it off in the Gordon video. They are orange and in Claire Bells with black fronts and rears. So, I figured, well, let's keep her orange. And that's the whole reason Annie and Clarabelle are orange. Because I'm thinking all three of these coaches at one point were a part of the Express. Now, Annie and Clarabelle were bought back when the new Express coaches were bought, which were the orange ones that will be used consistently after 1925. But, instead of being used on the Express, they were given to Thomas because the Fat Controller could see the Thomas was improving, so he planned to give him his branch line. The rescue on the James, the rescue of James, was tip of the iceberg. So, he gave Thomas the branch line and Annie and Clarabelle because he had ordered two extra. Now, Jacqueline here, yes, that is what I've named her. She was a part of the five batch, so seven coaches officially came to the island that year. But she was kept on for a while. Do for the Thomases, she is technically a little bit of both, where she'll go with Gordon and and Thomas at the same not at the same time, but in the same day. It'll be like alternating runs where, in the morning, Gordon will take his passengers from Tidmouth to Barrow and back to Tidmouth. That run the coaches put with Thomas. Thomas will go from Tidmouth up to Farquhar. And back down to Timoth, which is which Jacqueline gets put with Gordon. And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until the day is done. Which I think she will always end with Gor end the day with Gordon. Yeah. I decided to give her a name and a face. Just because not only will it add sort of like relevance to the missing coach again, which hasn't been relevant since the book was written. But also it sort of gives like a different Character interaction, I think. Because I think she would prefer going with Gordon over Thomas. Just because she lives mostly express life. Rather than Thomas's silly little branch line. And Annie and Clarabelle are rather even, even keeled. Even healed, I think. And they are quite faithful to Thomas. I don't think Jacqueline's that way at all. I think that she is like... Super cocky and arrogant and like is this superstar that she's like she's like Gordon's best friend She's like a celebrity's best friend basically like She has sort of the same prestigious about her but About the same ego as well, which isn't always a good thing, but she's a little bit more reasonable than Gordon I would think Because she isn't the one pulling the train of course her, she would hate Douglas. She would really hate him for, like, mis messing up that one time. But, yeah. That's sort of my take on her. She was made out of one of those red and yellow coaches, I believe. From, like, 2006. I don't know. Um, she was... I kept the windows open. Um, and wrapped her in soft cardboard. So I have, like, the smooth sides... Of the express coaches, but still get the windows. And you can see her rear windows are like her guard section. And that is sort of why Clarabelle or Annie don't really have those windows. Because I think, yes, they are push-pull coaches. But Jacqueline would also ride at the end of the train. So, not, most of the time, I think, the guard would just stay in her. And then in Clarabelle, there's, like, slight modification. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. You can see on this side, some of the windows are bigger. Like this one, this one, this one. Then on the other side. Where all of them are the same size. That's just because the coach was so painted over from Young Me. Yeah, I, I've been really trying to revise Young Me's horrible mistakes. To where they look good now. Which I respectfully think Jacqueline does. Yeah, that's an original face. I think it works well with Annie and Clarabelle. Her eyes may be a little bit big, but I don't know. I'm not really bothered by it. I don't know. Tell me if you are. I might fix it. Who knows? 
a little bit of white there I gotta fix. But yeah. Now this is her rear. As she is the brake coach for the Express, I wanted her to have the guards compartment, which she does. But then I also wanted her to be the guards compartment or push pull coach for Thomas's branch. And she should have windows on the back, which the Express coaches don't. So I figured, hey, what if I just made this giant window for the guard to look out on when Thomas is pushing them back down the branch line? Or even when the express coach needs it. But no, during the express runs, I think she'd be faced like this. Like, pretend Clarabelle's an express coach. She'd be facing the black side of the express coaches. That doesn't have a face. So, like, her face would be trailing on, similar to how Clarabelle does. I forgot her windows. I'm just realizing that now. But, yeah. So, then, when she's pushed on to Thomas's branch, or with Thomas, rather, they take her off the express coach. They take her off, spin her around, and then hook her up this way. So she is sort of facing Clarabelle, and her rear is at the way back. She would couple to an express coach like this, that's simply... Wait, what? What am I talking about? I'm sorry, I've been, I messed up on the couplings, and I've been trying to explain it to myself. Okay, I know what happened. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. So... Her face is on the wrong side. <laughs> it needs to be on this side for anything to make sense. Basically, her entire body is backwards. If I could just, like, take off the chassis here, just whoop, so she would face the right way, I will. I'm going to try and fix this, I swear. But you guys get the gist. That's why she has the two front couplings. But that might change if I switch the body around. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But um, let's get the rolling stock together for the for the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, and here. And you gonna sit there? Okay, Clarabelle here. Okay, you gonna sit up? I guess. And then Jacqueline here. Okay. I need you sitting up now. Okay, and then Toad, of course. Toad is awesome. And then the Spiteful Break Friend. No, 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 Toad, dude. Okay, there we go. Huzzah! Jacqueline's face is really shiny. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this rolling stock custom video. And I will see you next week with... Hopefully some more engines. I'm I'm working on a lot of engines right now. Hopefully I'll get some done by next week. Okay? And I swear I'm working on more than just custom stuff, I swear. Yeah. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.